Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, and we're going to do a beer review. This one is by Lagunitas, and it's called Little Something Hazy, an unfiltered take on something classic. This one comes in at 7.2% ABV, and it's a limited release, and this is what the bottle looks like. I got this in a six pack at a Stater Brothers grocery store for like 11 bucks out the door. And let's, let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. There's the cap. Yep. Never seen this before in the stores. I've seen it on YouTube recently. Um, and I got pretty happy when I saw it. So um, when I saw it in the store, I uh, went ahead and grabbed it. So I do love me a hazy. Especially by Lagunitas because it's one of my favorite breweries. I think a little something regular is very good. So I'm pretty excited about this. Let's get into the glass and see what we got here. Give it a little swirl there in case there's some goodies. Ooh. Yeah, there's goodies in there. Yep, there was some goodies. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking chunks. Okay. Interesting. Must be got bottle conditioned or something. I literally got chunks. Um, there's a code on there, 169 day of 2019, so you can do the math. That's probably very fresh because I've never seen it before. It must have just came out. So we got a real frothy, creamy looking, uh, kind of a medium sized looking head there. And um, <clears throat> this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's hazy. As you can see, barely see the sharpness of the light through it. All right. There's a lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom to reinforce the head there. The head's turning rocky. There's no way you're going to see the flop through there. Yeah, there's chunks in the bottom. It totally looks bottle conditioned, but I don't know for sure. But with chunks like that, you'd think so. We should get them to show there. They can see them a little bit in there. See it in the bottom? Those are chunks. That came out of the bottle. All right, well, we'll um, check that out. Um, wow, that is hazy. All right. Um, let's see here. Yeah, a little something hazy. Yee. All right. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Right up front, citrusiness. Um, Like tropical type fruits. Pineapple, orange, um, grapefruit. It's making my mouth water. Pineapple, orange, grapefruit, maybe a little guava, mango. Um, it's like, like a lemon drop. That's pretty much what I'm getting. Uh, let's get a hit. Cheers. Ted's turning rocky. Taste follows the aroma well. It's got a about a medium mouthfeel. I'm gonna swell a little bit here and see if I can get some no other notes here. Yeah, it's fairly tropical. Man, that's crazy looking. I've never seen chunks like that come out of a bottle. It's got a little zestiness to it. Cheers. 
got a pretty decent um, malt backbone there. It's leaving some good lacing on the glass. Really good head retention. Uh, try to get this some of these chunks to break up in here a little bit. Maybe it'll give some other flavors that I'm not picking up. Yeah, it's breaking up. All right, cool. We're getting some uh, chunks coming around here. I personally call them goodies. You like goodies in the bottom. Um, when you get those goodies all up in the beer, it gives it flavor, I think. Hey, get out of there. Um, all right, let's get another, another hit here, see if we can pick up anything else. Well, but for the most part, I'm getting mostly like orange and pineapple. There we go. Yeah, pretty tropical smelling. It's not the most tropical beer I've ever had. It uh, does seem like it's on the uh, New England side as far as taste goes. At 7.2%. Um, can't detect any alcohol. Yeah, it's all breaking up good now. There we go. Yeah, check it out. You can see the chunks. Let's do that again so you can see it. I think this is bottle conditioned. I think that's where all these chunks are coming from. Yeah, look at that. That's insane. I've never had a beer that chunky. It's like those toys that you, um, the little domes that you shake up in the snow kind of goes around. It's kind of like that. Oops. That was sacrilegious right there. All right. Here we go. Check it out. Oops. There we go. Try that again. Getting too happy on the goodies here splash a little bit out of my glass there anyways let's uh get one more hit here and we'll wrap it up sorry about the air conditioner it's really warm here in orange county today yeah, the taste pretty much stayed the same Yeah, it must be bottle conditioned. I got most of the chunks to break up in the bottom. Yeah, here we go. Now we can really, really break those down here. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. This is definitely unfiltered, as you can see. I'm trying to break these down, hoping that it brings in some more different type flavors. There we go. It's starting to break down. All right, let's get another hit, see if we can pick up anything else here. Yeah, it's for the most part, it does have some sweetness to it, but ribbit. for the most part, it's tropically. I'm not sure what the chunks are. It's either hop chunks or whatever they use to do the bottle conditioning i'm not sure i'm not a brewer i'm a drinker it's leaving really good lacing on the glass there check it out i'm getting some mango guava pineapple uh tangerines uh, orange uh, i'm getting some uh you know, grapefruit pretty much that's what i got We'll uh, swell it one more time here and uh Yeah for the most part that's all breaking up so 
and the flavors staying the same. You can't feel the, the chunks or nothing. Yeah, that's very tasty. On a scale of a one to five stars, I'll give this a 4.2. 4 two stars out of five and I'll have the description in the description section at the bottom of the video there and I'll also have this uh, description and rating on rape beer my, my rape beer name is bad puppy 69 all one bad puppy and then 69 all one word I'm gonna try something different here put a little bit back in there like that and then we'll put it at the bottom and we'll bring it back get everything out of it all the chunks I want the chunks I like goodies I like goodies in the bottom as long as it's good goodies not like old beer goodies I'm pretty this is really fresh cuz uh 169 that's that's about we're probably less than a month old on this or even less than two weeks I don't have my uh, calendar here to you know count it but yeah uh, that's what I got pretty tasty all right everybody y'all take it easy and uh we'll catch you later see ya